As nearly 100 people recover from injuries, authorities are now questioning how another Argentinian commuter train crashed into the once station in Buenos Aires. On Saturday morning, the train slammed into the end of the line, leaving it wedged between the floor and the ceiling of the platform. 99 people were hurt, but no one had life-threatening injuries. According to Sky News, passengers who emerged from the wrecked train cars described a chaotic scene of people being thrown to the floor when the train made impact. Many passengers were trapped on board until they could be rescued by firefighters. The scene was all too similar to that in February 2012. That's when a commuter train crashed into the same station, killing 51 people and injuring more than 500 others. It was traveling too fast and smashed into the other cars. As far as this latest incident, why it happened in the first place is still unknown. Chinese news agency Xinhua reports the Argentine transportation minister has ruled out technical problems despite early reports of brake problems. The driver also tested negative for alcohol before he began his shift. After the 2012 crash, authorities had promised to make new investments in safety to the rail system. However, the BBC reports commuters still appear dissatisfied with the line. Commuters complain of frequent delays and bad service, and it is not uncommon to see travelers crammed into trains on their way to work. All of those hurt in Saturday's crash were taken to the hospitals and are now recovering. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.